What started out as a hobby for fourth generation Walla Walla and Justin Wiley soon became his passion, winemaking. Today, Vapiano is one of Walla Walla's most thriving vineyards, thanks to great people, great vision, and great grapes. Okay, Justin, before we learn about the grapes and the process here, because I know this is, the, this is the key to the good wine, tell us your story. Um, Vapiano Vineyards was started in 1999 after I lived in Florence, Italy for a year. I was really inspired by the culture there, which when I came back home, I created Vapiano Vineyards in 99, where we planted our first 10 acres, uh, which was Cabernet, Syrah, and Merlot. Well, speaking of, of growing and the time it takes to do this, because one of the things I've always wondered, I'm not very patient. I'm not one of the most patient guys in the world. You have to be patient to, to do this. So we planted this, this vineyard, the we're block we're in here is block one. This was planted in 2000, and our very first release was the 2005 Estate Cabernet. And there's a lot of stuff happening around here today. This is an important time of year for you guys. Uh, we're right in the middle of harvest. Uh, we've harvested probably 15% of what's grown here, and we're bringing fruit in from all around uh, Washington State as well. Well, I know you've been working today, uh, so I think it's time that we actually go see exactly what is happening because I need to learn more about this process. All right, let's go. All right, man. Uh, these are, this is our Syrah. This is block four uh, right up the road here, and this was picked this morning. Uh, this was a Joseph Phelps clone, and these vines are in their eighth year of production, and this will go into our state Syrah. How long do they sit here? When did these um, get picked? These were picked at about 11 o'clock this morning. Oh, wow. So Who picked them all? Uh, I have a small crew and we pick uh, six to eight bins every morning and we'll crush in the afternoon. Alright, let's go see what happens next. Not that the rest of the process isn't fun, but this to me is sort of the most fun. This is the final stage before it goes to bottle. So this is my 2006 Syrah. This wine will be bottled in February. It'll be released in May or June next year. And this is a blend of a Washington State blend um, of Cordius Vineyard, Lewis Vineyard. There's some Bapiano Estate fruit as well. Some fruit from Red Mountain and from Minnick Vineyard. Uh, this wine, 60% uh, of it will be sold out of the tasting room, and the remainder of it will go to uh, Oregon, Idaho, Cal Southern California, and Chicago. We'll get a lot to Oregon, right? <laughs> yeah, this is a good time to introduce our buddy Kevin here. He's, the wine, he's my wine expert. He's basically, he's my wine um, sort of, uh, what's, what's the word? Interpreter, basically, because I don't speak the language entirely, but Kevin is with Divine Wines. He's coming along, he's gonna help us, he's gonna help you, the viewer, learn a little bit more about the basics. All right, Justin, now here's the true example of enjoying the fruits of your labor. We're in the tasting room. You know, this, the tasting room is really the final, final stage before the consumer gets a chance to interact with us. So, starting with the vineyard and creating the vineyards, developing a wine program, building the facility, and then finally being able to pour the wine for guests is really, really special for the sense that everybody gets a common experience what we have spent the last seven years creating. You have a fabulous winery here. You have a lot to be proud of. Um, we had a great day. It's an incredible night in Walla Walla. But before we wrap it up here, tell us about your experience with the Walla Walla community. You've been here four generations now. Describe Walla Walla. Walla Walla, for, the, for a very long time, has been merely a farming community. And as it's evolved and more people have come back, they've brought other interests and other talents to the community, such as from the culinary side of it, from the viticulture side, the enology side, everybody has really brought a lot to Walla Walla. Walla Walla's best kept secret? Um, I would have to say it would be our local restaurant scene. I know that uh, our viewers are definitely want to know what does, what does Vapiano, what does it mean? Uh, Vapiano means go slowly. 
and it was a name or a term that was given to a friend of mine who still lived in Florence after I came home. What are you most proud of in your community? You've obviously chosen to live here and to, to make your life here. You were in Italy, you've been, you've been around. I think that most people who have moved back here have moved here for the quality of life. And due to communications and our laptops and all of our ability to connect with the outside world, there's a lot more people who are able to live here. You have a, you have a motto that was that uh, was very impressive to me. What's what's your slogan? Uh, va piano is used in the term uh, chi va piano va sano e va lontano, which means he who he who goes slowly goes safely and goes far. I think that really truly represents what we're doing here. Thank you. Thank you. Cheers. Cheers.